What's up everyone? It's your girl Faye. Uh, so yesterday I took you around uh, Lamu town and I, we got to learn a lot about uh, Lamu and uh, the people of Lamu. Uh, so today we are at uh, the Lamu Museum. Uh, it said that uh, the best way to learn about a community is uh, visiting the museum. So I'm here for that. Uh, something I learned about the Lamu uh, community or rather the people of Lamu is uh, they were originally farmers, fishermen, and uh, they also traded uh, mangrove, or rather exported mangrove. Uh, so mangrove trees are uh, basically used for construction or uh, building. Uh, so I also got to see the bathroom and uh, bathroom accessories. Uh, so these are uh, wooden sandals. Do they look like, like sandals? No, right? Uh, so these are wooden sandals and uh, uh, I learned that uh, like you only use them for the bathroom. I tried them on, not comfortable at all. So they are also known as uh, Mitawanda. Uh, that is the Swahili name. And uh, yeah, there is also one for brides made out of uh, brass. Uh, so this is uh, the bathroom toilet. It's covered, so you are not tempted to use. Uh, there is that finishing, uh, Swahili finishing. And... Uh, also, there is uh, a basin at uh, the bathroom. Uh, so the basin is uh, filled with water and uh, uh, you get uh, something to pick the water or rather to fetch the water as you shower. Uh, so this is the basin. And uh, they also put uh, fish inside or rather they used to put fish inside uh, for hygiene. So there, it won't be contaminated or rather it will be cleaner. Yeah. So that's how it's used. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, coconut uh, shell uh, used to fetch water and uh, this decoration here is uh, used in most, if not all, Swahili homes. Uh, like this one is a sea turtle. Uh, so this is uh, mostly used by the wealthy. Yeah, it's a symbol of wealth and uh, you can put some uh, uh, accessories or rather decoration on it. Uh, so yeah. Also got to see some Swahili attire. Uh, so this is uh, uh, what uh, the Swahili wore originally. Uh, so that's how it looks. Yeah. Uh, then there's uh, this hat. Ha! Huh. This thing is expensive. I was told it ranges from uh, $150 to $300. Yeah. It's that expensive. <laughs> yeah. So this is... Uh, uh, embroidered yeah hand embroidered yeah and it looks quite uh, unique i'm sure you've seen uh uh people wearing this especially the muslims yeah now you know the cost then uh, this is joho it's also a swahili attire uh you saw messi was uh, gifted this uh, joho uh during the world cup yeah that's uh, part of Swahili attire. And uh, then there is, um, you can also wear the leso. Leso is uh, the kanga kind of. Uh, so here, this is hina. Uh, hina is uh, used to decorate uh, the body for females. And uh, also for, for men, they use it to dye their beards and hair. Uh, so I was told that uh, the drawings, uh, they're only done, or rather hina is applied to married women only. But uh, unmarried women, you can draw something small like a uh, flower during occasions. Then there's also this attire and uh, this thing you see here. Uh, I was told it's called a shira. So originally that's what people used to walk around wearing or rather carrying it. Yeah. Then this is uh, jewelries or rather yeah, jewelries and are uh, mostly used uh, during uh, occasions like uh, weddings. The bride would wear uh, some uh, jewelries. Yeah, and also, it's also a symbol of wealth, kinda. So, there's a lot of learning here. Uh, so, for the men, uh, during weddings, they would uh, wear this, uh, let me call them uh, accessories. <laughs> yeah. They would wear this. this uh, they were originally made out of uh, ivory, uh, but uh, because of the ban of uh, ivory trade, uh, so they are made out of uh, now uh, like uh, horns from uh, animals like cows and all. Yeah, so 
these are some of the uh, accessories for men mostly <laughs> during the weddings uh, and uh, special occasions of course yeah so there's a lot of learning huh? <laughs> i hope you're learning something uh, also you can also add more uh, on the comment section in case uh, you know more huh? <laughs> yeah because uh, i i might have missed something huh? yeah then uh, this uh, over here this uh, pawn uh, it's used for communication so as you see the upper one is made out of brass and uh, there's a hole in between uh, so the hole that's where you blow uh, so when you blow it's used to uh, summon the community or uh, to make announcements and people will uh, uh, assemble uh, so the other part on uh, the far right it's just decoration uh, then this is uh, some of the festivals that take place in Lamu. Uh, like this particular one is Maulidi. Maulidi is like Christmas for Muslims. So it's uh, meant to uh, honor or observe the day when uh, Prophet Muhammad was uh, born. Uh, then uh, during such occasions, these are the musical instruments that are used. Uh, these are drums. And uh, you know, this is the part that I love. <laughs> I really enjoyed this part and then the guide uh, he knew how to play the drums uh, so he kind of played for us and uh, it was a nice feeling uh, these others are uh, uh, Uta so this Uta they are worn on their legs and uh, this picture over here uh, I didn't take a video so I had to attach a picture uh, so this is how a bride looks uh, in the Swahili culture or rather the people the, the Lamu community and uh, this is the groom uh, in most cases actually it, it used to be arranged marriages so the bride and the groom would uh, only meet on, on the wedding day imagine crazy right <laughs> yeah so anyway in terms of uh, transportation uh, sorry about that in terms of uh, transportation uh, these are uh, boats or rather uh, those are they called dows yeah <laughs> yeah so uh they are mostly they are given uh, gender female <laughs> yeah then there's a big one uh so these are these are what were used for transportation especially the exportation of uh, the mangrove uh yeah then uh they're different uh as you can see they look different right uh, so they are used for different, uh, uh, like uh, different uh, purposes. Like there's one that will collect the mangrove, then take to the other, and this is uh, the big one. So this was really big. It was really big. The video is not doing it justice. It was big. Yeah. So on the kitchen part, these are uh, some of the kitchen uh, stuff. Uh, so you okay these are basically kitchen utensils uh, as you can see this one is used to okay these are for tea uh, there's a pot there there's uh, this one used for crushing the or rather yeah crushing the nazi or rather the coconut to make uh, the coconut juice uh, or rather coconut milk uh, then this is a blender yeah this black one is a blender crazy right <laughs> okay i couldn't believe but it works like uh, they used to use this to blend yeah then uh, th that's uh, the nazi uh, which is used to grate it's kind of a grater so to grate the coconut and produce milk uh, so that's it for today so what do you think of uh, the people of lamu and the lamu community hope you loved this thanks for watching bye